Hey YouTube, this is Kenny the Messy Silver coming on this super duper cold Sunday here in Michigan. Uh, and today we're making soap. <coughs> of course, why else would I be here? <laughs> so, um, I have been having some ideas of soaps I want to make and I had two other in mind before this one, but this one just kept screaming in my head for me to go ahead and make it. So, I don't know if you guys is soap ideas talk to you but they do talk to me when they tell me to make them I make them I'm not crazy that sounds weird I'm sure if you're a soap you understand what I mean so uh, today I'm going to be making a soap fragrance with can you see it? pink sugar I did not test this <laughs> as I don't test any of my uh, fragrance oils so just wish me luck that everything goes well we won't get any rising or seizing or any of that craziness so I already put my lie in here uh, I'm forever changing these camera angles so hopefully you guys are able to see everything I'm gonna try to keep it where you can okay and so I'm gonna do this I got this really cool it's called snowflake snowflake <laughs> snowflake sparkle and this is I told you guys I think a couple of weeks ago about nurture soap supply having a sale on their micas and things like that so this is it it's in here I don't know if you guys can if it'll pick up very well but it's I actually put yeah let me start a little bit maybe you can see it a little bit better but um yeah so I think you see that I had to put a little bit of iridescent white mic in it just because it was so translucent you really couldn't see the colors and I didn't know how well it was going to show up in my soap once I added my soap so uh, I'm gonna use my now new favorite activated charcoal and then I have some more of this amaranth pink which is from uh, nurture soap supply again so I already have my light water mixed in here I'm gonna go ahead and oh guys my mom she's here but she's in the living room watching movies and she likes it a bit warm in here <laughs> And so if I pass out <laughs> while soaping, please forgive me. I'll be okay. Because I think I may just have a heat stroke before I'm done soaping. <laughs> Hopefully I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and divide these. Oops, I'm short a cup. Aren't I? No. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, so I'm doing this fast backwards as usual. Let me grab another measuring cup. And I want to give... A thank you to a very very sweet uh, she's one of my Facebook followers and also one of my subscribers here on YouTube and she's such a doll and she's a customer uh, she lives in Georgia and her name is Kim and she bought soaps from me last week and she was so thankful for the orders and she liked my soap so much that she actually sent me this how sweet is that this is from a line that she uh, sells called lemongrass spa and this is body icing and it's pina colada i'm telling you guys this stuff is amazing and the ingredients i love the ingredients for like those of us who do soaps it's like all the natural stuff there's no weird funky stuff in here so if you guys want a really really good uh moisturizer moisturizing lotion or body cream or hand cream give her a shout um I wasn't sure if I should use her name, but I mean, her name is on uh, Facebook. Her name is Kim Laporta, if I'm spelling that right. See her and go, you know, go check out Lemongrass Spa and see what you, what the, see what they have there. I think you might like it. I am so, so pleased and I thank her so much because that was really, really sweet of her. I said, you don't have to give me anything. She says, no, I really, really want to give you something because I appreciate it myself. So thank you again, Kim. You're such a sweetheart. Mwah. So that's what I want to talk about. It was something else I want to talk to you guys about. And while I'm running my big flap, I could probably be pouring this stuff in here. But let's talk about dollar store finds. You know, I get some really, really cool stuff at the dollar store. And, um, like, these towels. I'm sure you guys see me use these little towels all the time. I have in it in pink, yellow, and it comes in blue as well. And it's in your, if you have a Dollar Tree where you are. I don't know if they have met all of them, but they come in three packs, and it was so funny because the first one that I saw them, they were um, 
75 cents a pack <laughs> so I got I think maybe three packs and then I went back and they were 25 cents a pack for three and they had like these little scrubby little blue dots on it so it's like they do come in handy for cleaning up so I love these things and I think I bought what 10 10 packs of them so I have 30 <laughs> so I don't think I'll run out of those anytime soon okay so I'm gonna go ahead and can you see that yeah okay go ahead and pour that in here I don't need a whole whole lot of pink but that's going to be my big pop of color and my base is going to be black and uh let me see mm. oh, I can use this spatula here give this a little stir and pour that in there hopefully it turns out a nice nice pink you know the pink that I want because the last time I used it it was like um what color it was more like a dusty rose and that's not the color I was going for so I want a really really pretty pink and I think I think this isn't it <laughs> yep nope that's not the color I was going for so <laughs> I don't know how to fix this let's see I think maybe if I add it some it's a pretty color but it's just not the pink I want it like a this I don't know like a lighter lighter pink something like that so give me a second to fix this pink and i'll be right okay back. guys i'm back so this color here i've never used before honestly i think it's more like a a glitter or something or maybe it's i don't know but it's a strange color that can you see that yeah i don't know this is not the color well hell is any of them color i was going for <laughs> but i'm gonna i'm gonna go with it so now I normally say that I like to put uh, fragrance oils in all of my colors but not this one because I know for a fact that uh, pink sugar uh, turns everything brown so and I wasn't going for a brown soap so I'm only going to put it in my black and I guess I'm going to do that right now. Oh also what I found at the dollar store I'm going to show you guys just because I don't really do hauls, so I said I was going to start doing those, but I did want to show you these because they're kind of cool. Um, to do mini cakes, uh, and I mean a mini mini cake, you see that? Isn't that cute? So they had these little silicone thingies at the dollar store, and I think I'm going to do a double layer mini cake out of these. Uh, yeah, they had it at the dollar store, and they were a dollar a piece, and I thought those were way too cute. So anything I can find in silicone, especially at the dollar store. I'm all for that. So, just wanted to show you those because I thought those were super duper cute. Alright, so here goes my pink sugar. Smells really good. And hopefully, oh, and I'm going to name this, uh, this one Beguiling. Just because I think it's going to be really cool looking. And even though I am, uh doing the base in black which kind of looks like 50 shades of gray <laughs> uh, yeah that was a very lame joke <laughs> um i don't know i put so much activated charcoal in here and it's still kind of grayish looking but i'm gonna leave it that color just because that's enough of that <clears throat> and so hopefully everything goes and then too i mean like i said uh pink sugar tends to turn things brown so It'll just make this black even darker, which will work in my favor. So I am not mad at that. And I wasn't really a big fan of the pink sugar thing at first, but I said I know it's really popular, so I would get it. But now that I've put it in my soap base and I'm kind of moving it around, it smells really good. My mom said she likes it. Yeah, that is pretty cool. All right, everything is still nice and fluid. And this strange color over here is... A strange color over here so <laughs> I was going for silver but that's kind of a silver-esque I guess I don't know but I'm gonna go with it so I'm going to give this one short blast just to make sure that this fragrance oil is mixed in good and that will be all the blasting I will be doing for this okay <clears throat> Man, I am like roasting and I always forget that there is a massive ceiling fan in this room So I did turn it on but um Yeah, it's on it's on high. Well, it's not on the highest setting because I don't want to blow all my mics and things around but 
does feel a little bit better, but I'm telling you guys, I'm roasting. Oh, and uh, speaking of roasting, uh, the, the total opposite of that is going on outside right now. Here in Michigan on this Sunday afternoon, it is a warm, toasty four degree outside, four degrees outside <laughs> with a low of negative 22 tonight. So can't wait for that. Yes, it is going to be really, really cold. <sighs> I hate Michigan weather. I swear I do. Michigan winters can be brutal. And it seems like as of late, and I thought we kind of, you know, escaped this horrid winter from last year because we were just beat to death with snow last year. But nope, we were not spared. I don't know, it's like my hands are super duper oily or I've gotten really weak, but I can't seem to get my stick blender apart. All right, so got that done. Now I'm going to get my mold and get this all poured in. Yeah, so still working out nicely. It's like I'm kind of afraid. I'm still too lazy to do task batches, but I'm a little bit afraid now to just dump fragrance oils in my uh, batters just in case it rices or whatever, but I don't know. I think I'm becoming familiar I'm not saying that I want us to be best friends, but I'm learning how to uh, handle ricing and um, soap on a stick <laughs> a little bit better, you know. <clears throat> I don't freak out. I just kind of make it work for me instead of me working for it. <laughs> so, so that is that. And like I said, this is not actually black. Don't want to leave some for the... Hmm, this is kind of warm. Yeah, I'll leave a little bit for the top. I thought I wanted to do the entire top. <laughs> oh, jeez, guys, I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go, but I'm going to leave some for the top. Let's see, make sure this is not too much. Nope. This will be... Yeah, that's good. So we'll set that off to the side for now. And now... I'm going to bang this on the floor because you guys know my tripod likes to take a, a dip. <laughs> so, no, you know what? <clears throat> I'll, uh, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm going to bang this now. I think I probably should, but then, I don't know, guys. I'm just rambling. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pour this funky strange color in here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what color is that supposed to be. I'm sure if I had like clear oils or whatever, it would turn out a nice silver color, which that's the color that I wanted. But since my soap base is more on the yellow side, then um, this is the color that I get. But I'm going to make it work for me. Like I said, no sweat. So I'm going to break up some of this black with this color. Can you guys still see that? Kind of, but let's see. I can move it forward just a little bit without pouring it. Yeah. It is cool looking, isn't it? Okay. I think that's all I'm going to pour in there. But that is weird because it's just like soap base color with some sparkles in it. And I think maybe I'm not going to use this for mixing, you know, as a mica anymore. I'll just use it as a glitter <clears throat> because it doesn't seem to blend in well. Even though I did, um... I did, what am I trying to say? Oh, I did add a little bit of pearl white to it. So, it will just, this, I don't know, I think this background music is kind of distracting me. So, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm like, why can't I think today? But, <clears throat> but at least outside, we haven't, well, we've gotten a little bit more snow, but not like I showed you guys in that last video. That was a bit ridiculous. Oops, there we go. I don't, yeah, I'm going to use just a little bit of pink for the top, and I mean very little. So, yeah, that's good enough. I really, like I said, I really don't have any set, set design for this soap. I just know that it, it had to be made, just because it kept telling me to make it. But hopefully, you know, it'll fit its name and come out nice and beguiling, so... Before I do any swells, I'm going to go ahead and give this a little bang down and ooh, this stuff is nice and loose. Give me a second.
okay hopefully i got on the air bubbles it's just like i can't bang it really hard just because it's very loose and then when i do get a nice little bang i could see like quite a few big air bubbles popping in it and i think i have a few talking to me right now <laughs> so um okay and i think i'm going to use can you guys see that yeah i'm going to use a thin skewer yeah i'm going to use a thin skewer for the top for my swirl because i think i want it to be more wispy mm, yeah i do want it to be more wispy and once again i'm always unprepared nope i do have it i thought i had a skewer here somewhere and guys my mom she's always like cooking dinner she cooks the best dinners but i wasn't full because i didn't stuff myself or anything like that but i decided to drink a whole bunch of water and now i'm like stuff <laughs> this is crazy Whew, i am truly truly stuffed Okay, I think you know me. I really would like to swirl this bad boy one more time, but I'm <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to. Ah, I want to do it so bad, but no, I'm not. Mm. I just feel like I didn't get enough swirl in here, but too bad. I'm not swirling it again. Okay. Maybe one more. This right here. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm satisfied. I just couldn't leave that alone. I felt like, because you know when you first put it in, it's not. You guys get what I mean? Or maybe I'm just obsessed with swirling. I'm trying to make excuses here. Okay, so this is very, very, very loose, which I love this batter because you get beautiful, beautiful swirls. But right now, I'm not going to get any kind of top on here just because everything is super duper loose. So I'm going to wait for this to set up and then I'll be right back. So, see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, there's a dent in my soap. You want to know why? <laughs> because my camera fell in my soap. <laughs> I actually banged the soap on the table, just one little tiny tap, and I don't know what happened, but my camera just kind of fell off the tripod into the soap. So, I think it's time to invest in a new tripod. Again, this will be tripod number three. And I don't think it messed up anything. I'm still trying to clean. I see little bits of soap residue I'm trying to clean off. But <clears throat> thankfully, we're still in business because this is my only camera and I don't have any money to buy a new one. So, uh, while I was... Oh, and as you can see, this pink sugar fragrance is actually turning my soap base green. Can you see that? And I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> It's like a jade green, and I really, well, not even, like an olive green. And I really didn't anticipate on making an olive green, pink, and silver soap. So this is going to be very, very interesting, and I am intrigued to know what this is going to look like, because this is actually, Intrigue was going to be the name of it in the beginning, and I decided to name it Beguiling, because I thought it was going to be pretty beguiling, but now it's just kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know about this one, so... And I just really didn't want to do a brown and pink soap. <clears throat> so that's why I decided to go with, uh, with black and pink. And now I have green. This is crazy. It's like an army green. This would be like awesome color for my um, deer hunting soap. But I don't think any guy wants uh, a sweet pink smelling or sugary smelling soap. <laughs> that's camo printed. So... Oh, and there's something else I wanted to share with you guys. I live, the area that I live in the suburbs, and the area that I live in, it's a lot of wealthy people around here, and let's be very clear, I am not one of them, so <laughs> I just so happen to live in an area amongst a bunch of wealthy people. So, with that being said, our Salvation Army is amazing. <laughs> people donate brand new things all the time i mean absolutely all the time and i call our salvation army uh macy salvation army <laughs> because or nordstrom's because some of the stuff is ridiculously overpriced but when you do find something great i mean you find a great great deal on it so i have a couple of things that i want to show you guys once i am done scraping this great this is crazy who in the hell wants a pink sugar smelling green soap I 
I'm kind of disappointed in this one, but I'm not going to get bummed out just yet because it might come out looking really, really cool. And you know how colors change once they settle. And I'm sure this is going to change again. You know, I know it's not going to stay this color green, but this is very, very interesting. That is for sure. So I've had some kind of mishaps today with my camera falling in my soap <laughs> and this changing this strange green color. So uh, with that being done, I'm going to add my pink and I said I wasn't going to put anything on the top but since it's this funky color green I think it would be best if I did so so I'm just going to kind of drizzle that up that is crazy looking should have been watermelon scented if I would have known it was going to be this color okay but yeah I got um well I'm not going to tell you guys yet I'm going to wait until I show you because it's kind of awesome it really is <clears throat> Let's see yeah, just drizzle that all on and then I'm going to add some of this crazy silver white stuff. This is going to be one very interesting soap. I can tell you that for sure. And it might be pretty cool. I mean, because those all female sweet sugary smelling soaps have to be pink and girly girly super girly. No. So this is going to be very interesting. I'm kind of intrigued to see maybe I will change it to intrigue just because you know what I think I will name this one intrigue and I will do a beguiling something else because this is not beguiling as you guys can see this so I am very intrigued to see what this is going to look like so this soap will be called intrigued and for those of you who ask about my uh, oh so dainty I had some spots on the soap that still needed a little bit of drying and it was more or less uh, came from my mica line uh, I don't know why, but I am going to post that either post on my Etsy site for sale, either um, the beginning of next week or the end of next week. I just got to kind of test it and see, you know, is where you go. And I've used the piece already, so yeah, it is, you know, you're, it is ready to be used. I just want to make sure that that little oily, I don't know what to call it. You know kind of goes away so it's sitting and drying out i've been thinking about getting a dehumidifier for this my soaping room just so mm, now see i like that well at least something came out pretty I'm not saying this is ugly but it was kind of strange looking at first i think now that it's thickened up and i should have maybe well next time if i ever do this again i will know to um let this thicken up first before i put it in my soap like try to make a design out of it because i do really like the look of it and especially the little flicks of silver in it really really pretty so I'm thinking that green is crazy it looks like a darker colored pea soup <laughs> that is really really crazy I was gonna leave a little bit to do a little drizzle on top once I make my peaks but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put that all on there and just be done with yeah, this is going to be a very, very interesting soap, guys. Very, very interesting. Okay, I think I'm just about done here. Get that last little bit in there. Yeah. There we go. Okay, there. Now, I'm going to take my spoon, which I didn't want a spoon this big, but I am too lazy to go get a smaller spoon. So, I'll go ahead and and it seems to be still a little bit too well it is kind of runny but i kind of like that yeah it's kind of cool this is very very i'm just really really anxious to see what this is going to look like <laughs> so i'm going to turn that around and guys, you know, I am so fortunate to work in the industry that I work in. For those of you who do not know, I work in the electronics field where I am. And it's, uh, electro, um, what am I trying to say here? Industrial electronics, not like, you know, radios and things like that. But we actually make all kinds of things. And I'm not going to go into all that, but it's all computer related. So, uh, I'm fortunate enough because a lot of the packaging that I use to send to you all, it's kind of repurposed like this um, cellophane 
we have one company that sends us circuit boards and they stuff boxes and boxes and boxes full of it and it's not actually protecting anything it's just you know inside of bags inside of boxes and they give me tons of it so it's brand new when I get it and uh, they were just kind of tossing it out and I'm like no you know I'll take it so I should have done that first yeah let's do that first and I'm gonna do this with a spoon and then I'll make my little peaks yeah, this stuff is really still very, very soupy. Maybe I might even wait on making peaks. I don't know. If by the time you guys see the pictures, you know, that it looks totally different, you know I'm known to do that. Because <laughs> I'll play around with it a little bit and, you know, just kind of keep staring like, hmm, maybe I can do this to it. So, if it does look a little bit different, please forgive me. So... Yeah, because I, I waited for, what, maybe 20-30 minutes, and it's still pretty fluid here. So, I don't feel like waiting anymore. And that is, I do like that glittery stuff, because I was, I'm, I'm still undecided if I'm going to put glitter on it. <laughs> Just because it's so sparkly already. Oh, I see, it. did you guys see that little bubble just kind of burst? So hopefully I don't have, you know, lots of air bubbles in this soap. Okay, so I think maybe I won't mess with it <laughs> just because I'm doing this now. And I need to get my aim. Well, my aim. I was trying to make a straight line up the middle, but that didn't work. Okay, so I think I'm done. I do have quite a few air bubbles in that. I don't, I don't really necessarily care for that, but... Anyway, so I'm not going to bang this because I don't want to go for round number two of my camera falling in the soap. And then, so I've already done my gentle soft peaks here, and I don't want those falling as well. So, uh, I think that the top of this is done. I am going to spritz it with some alcohol. Try to avoid some soda ash going on, which I am never really successful with that. And I think that I'm going to do a little bit of pink glitter just a little bit so I keep forgetting the fans on I'm like why is this glitter going all wonky because <laughs> the fan is on so this is a very strange looking soap and it is turning even greener which that's you know I think I'm gonna like the look of this and I just kind of wish that I know next time well then I get I get I guess I really can't say that because I was gonna say I could do this in like a watermelon scent but I don't know if the watermelon would change it to um, this color green because it's actually getting even greener as I'm standing here so show that to you guys that is a very strange looking soap but I'm going to leave it so before I go I do want to show you my finds that I got at the thrift store so, I got this, ta-da, Bristol Salad Shooter, and there are so many soapers that, um, and you know what, this thing is brand new, never ever been used, that's why I said I love, love, love my Salvation Army, and I got it for $9.99, and it still has the instructions and everything kind of tucked in here, so super duper fine on that, and like I said, brand spanking new, so super happy about that, and I also got... See if I can pick it up. Hopefully, I don't drop that in my soap. <laughs> I got this little mini crock pot. Isn't that cute? So this is going to be used for. Um, it didn't have a lid, which is cool. I don't care. And I think I paid yeah, seven ninety nine for that. And I'm going to use this for my melt and pour. So just kind of leave it in here, and that way, it stay nice and fluid when I'm using it. So with that being said, guys, that is it for today. And this is intrigued and not beguiling and I will post pictures well I'm gonna do a cutting video I'm gonna remember to do my cutting videos I might pop this in the mic microwave <laughs> Jesus, can you imagine I might pop this in the oven and uh, do a oven process I know I keep saying that sometimes I'm not really happy with the way it turns out but I do love the fact that I can cut them much sooner than later so we'll see and on that note, this is Kenny the Messy Soper. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.